Hey there guys, this is my hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 9. So I'm going to show you my party setup before I do anything. So here's my party. Um, it's that party I showed you before back when I was in Terra. But uh, here's, here's it on. Notice how everybody has the ribbon which absorbs wind. Let's see, here's Vivi. By the way, um, Zidane has the Thief Gloves, which increases his speed. Vivi has the Octagon Rod, which allows him to absorb wind. And there's a whole bunch of, there's all of this as well. Here's Aiko, with wind and earth reducing stuff, along with the ribbon. And here's, um, Amrit. And here's my abilities. I have Auto Reflect on all my characters. And I also have Body Temp, Antibody, Clear-Headed, and... You know, all the important stuff. Actually, is there anything that I don't need here? Um, I'm okay for now. BB has auto reflect, body temp, antibody, the good stuff. I'm gonna try putting reflect no on Aiko because she's also the white mage, but I have. Wait a minute. Not auto regen, um, auto reflect. Hmm. I think this is what I meant to do. Yeah, this is. Actually, you know what? I don't need MP attack, I just need to have locomotion on. Okay, so. This is my party. What is the party for, you may ask? Well, I've decided that I am done with all of the side questing all around the world. I'm, for the most part, done with side quests. There's, I think, one that I didn't mention, where you are asked to go visit every single beach, and this involves the Chocobo Paradise and that fat Chocobo. And if you visit all of the beaches, then you can get like an MP, HP, you know, restoration at each beach whenever you go there. Is it really worth it? No. So, am I going to show it? No. If you're disappointed, well, life is a beach, you know? So, yeah. Without further ado, let's go to the Eva tree because that's where Kuja, who is in trance and could very well destroy, could very well destroy Gaia, especially since he is at the Eva tree where all the souls of, you know, Gaia are gathered, in a way, and released, along with the Souls of Terra. Basically, this is where Kuja is waiting for us. So without further ado, let's approach this portal that's flying above e the Eva tree. Dang, this is all reinforcement from Limbloom. Wow, they really know how to step it up. And you thought that telling Uncle Sid not to attack would be helpful for us, right? That is like a typical Baku, you know, leader of Tantalus. I like how everybody's all working together from Limbloom to help us out in this assault. Maybe she is worried about Captain Siner. After all, she may as well be in love with him. <laughs> I like how Beatrix is all that so badass even in this situation. But yes, thank you Beatrix so much. <laughs> you have no idea how much I appreciate your help. I mean, Alexandria, you really pulled through. 
<laughs> Indeed, that is a very... Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you implying, Mrs. Diner? <laughs> well, this is an awkward situation. This is something awkward for Steiner to, you know, slip by, uh, you know, to us. But yeah, it's awesome that we have support from Alexandria and Lindblom and everybody. We have everybody's support, but we have to make sure not to fail. We have to do this for everybody. And so, in our assault, in order to save the world, in order to save everybody in the world, we have to break into the portal. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a giant dragon blocking our way. Meet the Nova Dragon in front of the most trippiest, most trippiest, yeah, that makes sense. In front of the trippiest background ever. It's so pink. It's so pink, it's like, oh my god, take a look at all the pink here. Great job, Phoebe. Um, so my strategy is going to involve casting water on all of us because all of us have auto reflect. So that should do a whole bunch of damage. I should be able to do max damage with Phoebe since you know water is going to be reflected off of all of us. I could use flare and reflect it off of myself, but flare is only single targeting. And the thing about reflect is it doesn't necessarily double the damage you know normally done if it's reflected. It only Basically, you only get, you know, double damage from Reflect if the Reflect times 2 ability is equipped on your character. And I've kind of come to terms that that costs a lot, but we'll see what I can do here. Now, the Nova Dragon is Wind Elemental, but it's also weak to Wind. So, it's a good thing that I have, you know, ribbons on... Wait a minute, water, water. Do this. Wait, Zidane, why are you not doing any anything? Wait a minute, I think I forgot to equip Bandit on him. Well, that could be a pain. I mean, the Nova Dragon has some interesting weapons that I want, interesting items that I want to steal, like um, the Dragon Wrist. It has a grand armor, which is pretty powerful. I mean, pretty good, but, but if, here's the thing. Um, the, first of all, the grand armor is extremely hard to steal from this boss. Also... The fact of the matter is, the Grand Armor is good for Steiner and Freya, but I do not intend on using Steiner and Freya for the rest of the game, so kind of defeats the purpose in trying to get that, you know, last item, you know, the Grand Armor for, um, wait a minute, oh, I messed up, Ugh. Oh well, whatever. I guess I can, that gives me more chances to steal from the Nova Dragon, because I won't do a whole a lot of damage, but yeah. Or I can just DVD right now, yeah. I guess it helps that No Mercy is Wind Elemental thanks to my Kaiser Knuckles. But yeah. That's an interesting death animation. Just like the one Silver Dragon. What is it with what is what is it with dragons is dissolving into the air? Like is it like a fetish for dragons when they die? Well good job, Amarant. Yeah. You saw how much damage No Mercy does, especially if it's wind elemental against the, uh, you know, a I guess a boss that's weak to wind, but yeah. In terms of stealing, that wasn't so successful, but... Yes, I'm not crying too much about it because I'm not going to use Steiner nor Freya. Sorry, Steiner or Freya. Yes, uh, I guess Keen is the only one who experienced the teleporter. What an experimenter. So... We should be able to go inside and outside easily, so nothing to worry about. I guess it's best to use the teleporter in order to access the strange land that we're entering rather than manually entering and exiting, because who knows what may await us. Be better to use magic, right? So what is this place? Well, what the... Like some sort of some sort of surrealist painting, or some sort of weird painting, and where they like, make some sort of surreal architectural stuff for weird designs. Like, what the heck? It's like a castle on a castle on a castle. Is something wrong, Zidane? Um, no, I didn't see anybody saying it on. Not even me. And I should be able to see somebody saying it on. Great, Zidane's going crazy, as per usual. Well, I'm sure we've gotten used to that, and, you know, we all know about Zidane's, you know, identity. You hear it again? Because I don't hear it at all. Zidane, can you hear me? It's Garland? But I thought he had died. I'm speaking only to you. 
Oh, so only Zidane can hear Garland, wherever his voice is coming from. But how come nobody else can listen to Garland? And then how is Garland speaking to us? Like, and where are we? What is this place? I thought we were inside of the Eva Tree, but instead we're inside of Memoria, a place of memories. Memories? Yes. yes. Your memories brought forth this place. Oh, so this final place is created from our memories. That's interesting. Here, you shall witness the entire truth. You have no choice. Now, go. Huh. Well, so from what he just said, we're in a place that's created from our memories. And this is somehow inside of the Aoife tree. You think that you think that we'd be inside of a tree itself, but remember, the Eva tree is like the gateway in terms of souls between the, you know, life and the afterlife. It's kind of like a blocker, and we're inside of the real essence of the Eva tree. It's kind of weird, but yeah, now we're inside of the Eva tree itself, and we're inside of a place created from our, from our memories. I guess all of our collected memories, then. Well, that's interesting. So I'm going to be sticking with this party. I kind of messed up on Zidane's um, abilities here because, yeah, I kind of messed up on Bandage. What did I... Well... Wait, what did I... What was I, what was I not supposed to give to Zidane? I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to give antibody to him. Okay, that's why. That's why they didn't steal Jack squad from the Nova Dragon. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about stealing from the Nova Dragon, but I'm concerned about increasing my steal rate for thievery and... Whoa, take a look at that. It's like the castle's forming before our very eyes. Like, that was cool. So, you can return to the airship, but let's not go there. Now, there are no Moogles in this world because this is not Gaia, nor is this Terra. And I guess Moogles, while they can inhabit Gaia or Terra, um, this is a new strange world that's out of the world, out of our world in general, so there are no Moogles, there are only save orbs, and they can allow us to save, um, you know, heal up with our tents as soon as, you know, Zidane is finished with this. And here's the thing. You can change your party members at will, and you don't need to have Zidane in your party. I mean, Zidane will be, you know, th the person moving around in the outside, you know, world map, but you can remove Zidane from your party, so it is possible to have Zidane not in your party for once. So that's kind of interesting, you know, for a final dungeon, because yes, Memoria is the final dungeon of the game. Not to bring out of immersion, but yeah. Now... This is a Chimera. Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess I, I'll steal from it at first and then I'll focus on no mercying it. What did you do? But yes, this thing is weak to ice. So let's try to use, I don't know, Holy on it and Blizzaga because Blizzaga will do a whole bunch of damage. And I think by this point, no, never mind. I was about to say something, but I'll get to it whenever I get to it soon enough. Venom Breath. Ooh, thank god we have Antibody. Wait, do we? I think Amor is, is one of the few who doesn't have Antibody on. Well, that could be a bit unfortunate, but thankfully, we're okay. So take a look at how dangerous Blizzaga will be on this Chimera. Dang! 9,999. That's a maximum damage here. So I will be using Aiko and her healing spells and holy spells. What I'm hoping is that with Reflect Null, she'll get around with, you know, our Reflect um, status and just heal us all with, you know, without any effort. And she can also use, you know, Holy to inflict massive damage. But, um, the thing about Holy is, is, is that it's pretty expensive. But I think that's the sacrifice I'll have to take because, I don't know, I... So, I mean, there are many party configurations you can have at this point. Like, I mean, you can take any four characters you want. And every single character may have their own benefit. Like Freya, um, if you you know destroyed enough dragons in the world, then you can um, use Freya's Dragon Crest. And you know if you've destroyed a hundred dragons in the world, then Dragon Crest will be doing nine thousand nine hundred nine 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 damage. By the way, Kingslands, 
That's for, that's for Freya, but that's a nice little reference to Final Fantasy IV since one of the main characters is named Kane. So that's really cool. But yeah, um, you can also use Kina. Oh, we've seen this enemy before. So you can use Kina and um, Kina's blue magic abilities. And some can be pretty good, like Angel Snack can give everybody remedies. And if you caught enough frogs and if Kina's have high enough level, then Frog Drop can, frog drop can do a lot of damage. Getting 99 frogs itself, though, isn't enough for um, Frog Drop to do 9,999 damage. I don't know, like, I'm not a big fan of um, Frog Drop in general. And this will be painful. I kind of... He's gonna kill one of us, isn't he? Yep, he's gonna kill Amrit. What an asshole. What an asshole. So I'm gonna be... So I'm gonna hope that, you know, Reflect Null will help us out here. And the thing about Dundaga is that now there's only three of us alive, so... This is gonna do much less damage, like, take a look at that. That's not so impressive. The thing is, we've seen this enemy before, so... Yeah, we have seen this enemy before back in Ibsen's castle, so... It's not just some sort of... Really? You're gonna do it real again? Oh my god, that's... Find a new hobby, you know? Find something new to do. Because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Especially since I was just about to kill you with... You know, Zidane's... Thievery. Hello? You suck. Jeez. I'm just gonna go... Aw. You know what? You deserve a holy into the face, so yeah. Wow, that's a lot of... Oh yeah, um, that is flying, so... And, you know, Amrit has the Kaiser Knuckles on, so... His physical attacks do... You know, his physical attacks are of the wind element, so... That's why Amrit did a whole bunch of damage. So... Amrit can be very useful, you know, because he's extremely powerful. I want to just use Kiraga on Zidane. Everybody else is... More or less... I guess I can just do that. So, yeah... Welcome to Memoria, everybody. Hope you like it, because this is pretty weird. This place is so interesting. It's very atmospheric and so foreboding, especially with its grayish color, its, I guess, interesting backgrounds. Looks like, looks like you're at some sort of abandoned medieval castle that's been taken over. You know, like, as if this is um, the Hyrule Castle in Twilight Princess, but much more foreboding. You kind of know what I mean? You don't? Well, you should. So this thing is weak to Thundaga, I think. If not, it's heavily affected by Thundaga. You know, Holy isn't doing a whole lot of damage, but I, you know, Aiko is not only a Holy user, but also a White Mage. So, you know, Aiko has her purpose. And I'm going to chest out um, using Kira on Zidane. I'm going to show it off, since, you know, assuming that, you know, the Iron... So this enemy is called the Iron Man. Like, dun 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 dun. Oh, I guess we fight at circuits. Jarvis is dead. Yay! I mean, boo! I mean, whatever. <laughs> what do I think of Iron Man Three? I thought it was a pretty fun movie, but it was fun. That's all I can say about it, really. But yeah, um, if you look over here, you can find the tower. <laughs> So, we have a tower in our pants, and the tower is actually a weapon for Zidane. It's, also, it's pretty good, but I want to actually... No. I want Zidane to have the Auric Talcon because it increases its speed. And, you know, thievery kind of depends on his speed stat, so... I'm re and, you know, thievery will do a, whole, a bunch more damage than everybody, everything else. By the way, um... For this next part, um, I want to give everybody, if I can, a way to absorb fire, so excuse me for a second. I kind of feel bad for Aiko because she doesn't have the Rosetta Ring. Um, she only has the Ribbon, which reduces fire damage, but doesn't really negate it. But yeah, um, as you can tell, I'm going to be fighting against something that's a fire element. So without further ado, let's just move Mosey along. In this direction, shall we? Let's go and run into. Oh wait, this is a boss battle. I thought this is a, a random encounter. So, as you can tell by how I was preparing for fire. Wait a minute, that thing looks a bit familiar. 
Haven't we, haven't we seen you? Wait, you were one of the four guardians, weren't you? The four elemental guardians? We meet again. I am one of the chaos guardians. Oh, is that what you call yourself now? The chaos guardians? But yes, this is the fire guardian that we never got to see, you know, fight. Um, this is the one that Freya and Amaranth fought against at the fire shrine, if you remember. Dang, you're... You just healed Amaranth by using a fire attack on him. Great job, great job, great job. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? So this is... Weak to ice, obviously, but this is what... Ooh, you saw an Ultima sword. That's pretty awesome, man. Aiko needs, a. Uh, Aiko needs... You know what? I can show off, um, one of Amrit's abilities. Then, this is, a, this, is a good, this is a good opportunity for me to show something off. Um, assuming that Amrit gets his turn soon enough. I think he'll... I knew you were going to attack Aiko. I knew you were going to do that. What an asshole. You're not a... You're not wrong. You're just an asshole. But yeah, I'm just going to wait on Aiko. Um, ooh, you're stealing, you're stealing a lot of good stuff here. Although, to be honest, when it comes to stealing stuff, um, we don't need to steal a whole bunch of stuff. We don't need to focus on that, by the way. I can restore the MP and PP of, um, any character with Chakra. And I have on Aiko, I mean, I have on Amaranth the ability Power Up, which increases the efficiency, I guess, which makes Chakra much more effective. So, this is a nice way to keep yourself in check in terms of health and MP. By the way, this is a good reason for you to have, um, this is why I'm bouncing spells off of my, um, people. My people. Because they can cast reflect on, because the bosses can reflect, cast reflect upon themselves too, so you can't use magic on it directly. So that, that's why I'm doing this roundabout way, because in this game, spells can only be reflected once. So, yeah, it's only being reflected once, and then it's being just, you know, shoved up this boss's face. Okay, I'm not going to give up stealing the final item. Whoa, 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 what an asshole. <laughs> but yeah, um, the final item that this boss has is the Masamune, which isn't that great, so, yeah. Oh, you're going to... Reflected it upon yourself. That's sort of smart, except Sidon is resistant to your bullcrap. So, whoa. Um, emulator? Work with me. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. So, that was. <laughs> I have to say, that critical hit was very inconvenient. Very inconvenient. Like, that's. When I, that's not what I needed, to be honest. And sadly, um, since Amrit was dead. He, only, he didn't really get the Blizzard reflected off of him, but it, that's okay because that still did a good amount of damage. Oh yeah, um... So this boss is a little, does a little depth, a final attack before it dies. Raining swords, I forgot about this. Basically, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good idea if your characters are... have over 2,000 damage and... Vivi? Now is not the time for trance, because this boss is dead. But yes. Meliris is the same boss that Amrit and Freya fought against um, in the Fire Shrine. So, does this give you some sort of sense of foreshadowing? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What else, what awaits us at Memoria? What, maybe do, well our memories have something to show us? Because this place is constructed from our memories, apparently. So what will we find out from this place made from our memories? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Thank you guys for watching and bye.